Hello, I'm Ms. Zay, and welcome to Storytime with Ms. Zay. And today I will be reading a story titled Cricket and the Singing Frog Sisters, and it's written by Dana Lynn Andrews. It's a wonderful story about frog sisters, a cricket, some chirping, some singing number songs. I hope you will enjoy the story and let's get going right now. There were three frog sisters who lived on a very green lily pad that floated on a shimmering pond. Shading the lily pad was a magnificent blue flower. The frog sisters loved to sing about their favorite numbers. The oldest frog sister loved to sing about the number one. One, 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 she happily sang. The middle frog sister loved to sing about the number two. Two, 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 she cheerfully sang. The youngest frog sister loved to sing about the number three. Three, 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 she joyously sang. Today was the number singing contest. It happened every year. After practicing their number songs a bit more, they left their green lily pad with the beautiful blue flower and off to the contest they hopped. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hopping along the edge of the pond was Cricket and he was very hungry. His eyes danced when he spotted the beautiful blue flower on the other side of the pond. Cricket jumped faster than he ever had before. He could only think of having a bite of the delicious looking flower. When he finally made it to the lily pad, he, uh, he jumped so high that he almost fell into the pond. But he grabbed the flower and then took a bite. Cricket chirped cheerfully. The flower tasted as yummy as it looked. Cricket munched and munched until his belly nearly popped. He soon fell asleep. Cricket did not know that the three frog sisters were hopping across the pond and would soon return to their lily pad. They were very, very merry because the youngest frog sister won first place in the number singing contest. The oldest frog sister proudly carried her sister's trophy for her. The frog sisters merrily sang their favorite numbers together. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Before the frog sisters reached the lily pad, Cricket woke up and chirped very loudly when he saw the frog sisters getting close to him. He chirped so loudly, chirp, chirp, chirp. The other frogs and fish frantically popped their heads out of the water. What's happening, they all questioned. He was so frightened he jumped higher than he ever had before onto a nearby lily pad and continued to jump away. Cricket knew that frogs loved to eat crickets. He did not want to be their mid-afternoon snack. Wait, 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 yelled the frog sisters. Come back and have some more of the blue flower with us. We will not eat you. We are vegetarians. Cricket did not know that the Frog Sisters only ate flowers. And that is the end of Cricket and the Singing Frog Sisters. I hope you enjoyed that story. And the book is also, it's available on Amazon. So if you'd like to get that story, there you go. And join me again for story time with Ms. A.